Hey everybody, how's it going? In today's video, I need to explain sessions in PHP because, well, it's an important topic. In PHP, a session is a super global variable that's used to store information on a user to be used across multiple pages. Once a session is created, a user is assigned a session ID. For example, these can be used for login credentials. Once you log into a site like Facebook, for example, you can visit different pages on that site and stay logged in. We'll do something like that with PHP. Let's get started. We have our index.php file, but let's create another. Our index page will be our login page. Then we'll create a PHP page named home, home.php. The idea is that once we log in with our index file, we will be redirected to our home page. So we have two PHP files now. To create a session, before you display any HTML, we will use the session start function. Within my PHP script, I will type session start, and that's how to start a session. Then after you start a session, then you can add any HTML. Let's generate some HTML. I'll add some text to our HTML page. This is the login page. Then I'll add a hyperlink for the home page. We'll use an A tag, set the href attribute to equal home.php. This goes to the home page. Then be sure to close it. I'll add a break as well. Perfect. After our HTML document, let's add another PHP script. We can create name value pairs within our session super global variable. Let's create a key of username. Set this equal to a username of your choosing. Then let's do that with the password as well. So we will access our session super global variable. We will create a key of password. Then make up some password. For testing purposes, let's echo our username and our password. Echo session, we're accessing the key of username, then we will be returned the value. Then I'll add a break. Then do this with password as well. Let's see if this works. Okay, here's my username, here's my password. They are stored within this session variable but we can access the values with a given key. They're in key value pairs. I would like these values to be accessible from another page, from my home page. For demonstration purposes, I am going to echo our username and our password from our home page, but we need to create a PHP script. So PHP, then I will echo our username and our password. Let's see what happens. It's an experiment. So I'm going to save everything. On our index page, we have our username and our password. That works fine. But if I were to go to our home page, our second page, well, we don't have a username or a password. Undefined global variable session. Within any additional files that we create, we will also need to start a session with the session start function. And I'll just copy this. You'll need to do this before any HTML is displayed. We'll start the session. I'll create some HTML. I'll copy these two lines, but make a few changes to them. Okay, this is the home page. Then I'll create a link to our index page. This goes to the, we'll call it the login page. Let's reload this. Okay, this is the home page. This goes to the login page. We do have our username and our password. So I'm just switching between the home page and the login page. We can access our session variable from either page, as long as you start a session. For some additional practice, let's change our login page to actually reflect a login page. We'll have a text box for both a username and a password and a login button. So let's go to our index page. So this is the login page. Let's change a few things around. We'll create a form. Set the action attribute to equal index.php. 
For the method, since we're using credentials, we should use post. Let's say username, add a line break. I guess that can be a label too. We'll need a text box, input type equals text. For the name attribute, let's set that to be username. Add a break. Let's copy these two lines of markup, then paste them. Change the second username to be password. Also do that with the name attribute. Then we need a login button. Input type equals submit. For the name, this will be login. For the value, let's say that this is login as well. Then let's get rid of these lines. I'm going to minimize this explorer window just so we have more room to work with. What we're going to do now is after somebody clicks the login button, then we'll assign our session variable. To check to see if somebody interacts with our login button, we can use the isSet function within an if statement. If is set, let me scroll down a little bit. We are accessing our post variable at the key of login. If this button is interacted with, if it's set, we will assign our session variable. We'll create a key of username. We will assign whatever's within our text box for our username. In a real world scenario, I would probably use a filter, but just for learning purposes, I'm going to keep it simple and not use one. Maybe in a project we will. I need to access our post variable at the key of username. Whatever is in our text box, we will assign to our session variable of username. Then do that with our password as well. Before we log in, we have to check to see if our username and our password fields are empty. We could write, using an if statement, if not empty function, we are checking if our username is not empty. And... Let's check to see if our password is not empty. I'll put that down here. If our username is not empty and our password isn't empty, then let's assign our session variables. So for testing purposes, let's echo those values. Echo the session's username. I'll add a break. Then do that with the password. Password. All right, type in a username. Make up a password. Oop, that should be a password field. Hold on. Type equals password. There we go. Here's our username. Here's our password. If I were to refresh everything, type in either a username or a password. We shouldn't display anything, which is correct. If one of these two fields are empty, let's add an else clause. Else, let's echo missing username slash password. One of those is missing. Then I'll add a break. I'll type in a username, but not a password. Missing username slash password. Let's type in a password, but not a username. Missing username slash password. Let's type in both. And that seems to work. Now let's get rid of these echo statements. We no longer need them. We were using them for testing purposes. What we're going to do now is after hitting the login button, we will redirect our browser to our homepage. There is a function for that. It is the header function. We'll add that right here after we assign our username and password. To jump to our homepage within the header function and within quotes, we will type location colon space, then the name of the page, home.php, home.php. Let's save everything. Make sure you're on your login page. I will type a username and a password. Press login and we are directed to our homepage. We are still maintaining that session. We have our username and our password still. 
Let's create a logout button. We'll do this within our home page. Let's get rid of our hyperlink. We'll create a form that just has a button. So the action attribute will be home.php. For the method, let's use post again. I will add a button. The input type will be submit. For the name, this will be log out. For the value, that will be log out as well. We will use the is set function to see if our logout button is set. So let's use an if statement. If is set is our logout button set. We will access post. The key is logout. If this button is set, we will use the session destroy function. We would like to end our session if we're logging out. We will use the session destroy function to destroy the session. After logging out, let's go back to our login page, the index file. We will use the header function again. Set the location to be index.php. I will log out, and that should bring me back to my login page. All right, everybody, that's how to create a session in PHP. You can store information about a user that can be used across multiple pages. And well, everybody, that is an introduction to sessions in PHP.